when Bassman strikes here. What we're going to do now is we're going to shorten the shaft on this Haswing 65 pound thrust 12 volt motor. We're going to short it down to 26 inches for use on a kayak and a stern mount. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick view of the motor. And this is in, a, right now it's in a Minn Kota mount. And you can see right there, the top of that tape is 26 inches. So that's where I'm going to put the pipe cutter. In order to shorten the shaft the easiest and cleanest way possible, you will need one of these. This is a rotating pipe cutter. You can get one of these at Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, pretty much any hardware store. But you want to get the larger size. This one will accommodate up to one, I think one and a quarter inches. Basically, you just put it on there, you tighten it up, and you rotate it. And, and keep as it gets looser, you keep tightening it. Rotate, tighten, and just keep repeating until it cuts all the way through. It takes a couple of minutes, but it produces a super clean cut, and you don't have to worry about cutting the wires inside the tube. So what we're going to do, we're going to open this up until it fits on there. So just tighten it up, and then you just rotate. Now as you rotate this, it's going to get loose as it cuts through. So what you do is you just tighten it and just keep rotating. So I'm just going to do this now and There we go, that's it. Look at that, nice clean cut. And what you wanna do, I already cut the first two inches off of this because there's some silicone in there. And what you wanna do is cut that off and then you can pry out the silicone and there's what's left is a little, like a cardboard plug in there and that should just pull out. Okay, I take that back, it's actually a rubber plug. So you probably wanna keep this in case you want to put more silicone in there. So just slide that down. Got a nice little extra section of pipe. You can use this to form a wire cap. There we go, that's it. This is for the potentiometer. This is the only thing you need to, to extend to a like an enclosure for a throttle. And these are just to the motor, that's it. Take off your tape. And notice there's absolutely zero damage to these wires when you use that pipe cutter like that. Now if you don't have a pipe cutter, What you can do is try and fish that little plug out and uh, after you get the silicone out and you can try and put a smaller tube over the wires and then you could use a hacksaw. But I highly recommend going out and getting one of those pipe cutters. They're 10 to $15 and it's totally worth it. Well, that's it folks. I hope this helps you out. Bassman out. Thanks for watching Bassman Strikes Kayak Fishing. If you like this video, please click the subscribe and like buttons. If you'd like to be notified of new content, click the bell button. If you have any questions about lures, equipment, etc., please leave a comment. Also, be sure to check out our Facebook page and join our group Black Bass Central. Links will be in the description. We'll see you next time.